I am a huge Andy Kaufman fan. Lawler versus Kaufman, I have a lot of the footage, the magazine articles and all that. The one question I'd like to ask you is, what is one of your favorite moments from that feud between Lawler and Kaufman? Because there was just so much great stuff that happened. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'll tell you, I don't know that I've ever told this story, as a matter of fact. It just flashed in my mind just right then uh, 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 when you first mentioned the, uh, Andy Kaufman. Of course, I hear a lot about Kaufman. That was the biggest thing that ever happened in Memphis when uh, uh, the world's best, certainly America's uh, best comic, comes down to Memphis, Tennessee, because he wanted to have a wrestling match, and they, they wouldn't support it up in the East, and we love that because we just ate it up. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, it, 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 was, it was an exciting thing to – to have all that attention come to little old Memphis, Tennessee, but it it is something that uh, made me have a lot of personal thoughts about it from from years to come, and and that's one of the things. As a matter of fact, Gordon Soley was a friend of mine uh, before I started working with him. And I finally got an opportunity to work side by side with Gordy and, 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 uh, but he was going to say, what was it like working that with Andy Kaufman? And, <laughs> and it, it, it was something that it was a, it was a thrill to be involved in. And, and you mentioned a moment ago about Lawler and about the guys that worked on the card with him. Nobody was held back. And that's true. And what I'm going to tell you is that it was really one of those stimulus things that uh, the teacher of the class normally uses for their students to say they get somebody who is very good at whatever they're teaching and they bring them in front of the students because they let them see how, how it should be done and how things, at least uh, in their opinion, is is the way it is supposed to be done for the audiences. And so when you got Lawler going in this thing, he was just one that never overlooked a challenge uh, on working in that ring. Brother, he, he, he could go with any of them. I mean, just come with creative stuff, and it was uh, – it's been very, very, very special and successful to uh, to have seen Jerry all these years, and and still see him. As a matter of fact, and I, I get off selling selling that, but it's true. I mean, there's uh, Billy Dundee, another one, an outstanding wrestler. Tony Charles did a stint with us for a while, and and um, Dundee wrestled him. When they when they ever wanted to have what they in in the days they call a shoot match in there, so they said, "How about it?" You know, and and uh, if you ever get to see the, the the first one that was done with Tony Charles and and Billy Dundee, it was in Jackson, Tennessee, and Billy had been I mean uh, Tony Charles had been promised that there would be no cameras or any, any record of the thing. And, and, uh, of course that was a lot, of, a lot of baloney because sure enough, if you look at it long enough, you will see all of a sudden the reaction from Tony Charles, when he realized there's a camera out there shooting this and he kind of reeled back and co uh, coiled himself back. And then, when, and then a big smile came over his face, and, and and it was interesting to see it play. If you knew the story behind what they had promised uh, Tony when when he uh, put Billy over, and it was just an outstanding match. It was great. To, I'm sorry to get off on uh, on another subject, but uh, that was Tony. Tony Charles was an absolute class. Class, right? It was really entertaining to watch. I only got to see him in Florida, but he was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 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 fun, my boy. I'll tell you, miss the good old days. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Lance is Joe Souza, and I want to say it's an absolute 
honor to talk with you right now. Uh, uh, besides, you know, promoting, I've also done ring announcing and play-by-play, -play, which is my first love. And you, sir, have been a major influence on me doing play-by-play, -play, and for that I say thank you so much. Bless you, Joe. I appreciate that. I honest and truly, you know, I, I'm I'm at 90 now, and and there's not a whole lot of hills that I haven't climbed in our in our business, but uh, I never get tired of trying, and it it's it's because I love it so much and enjoy doing it, and I just thank you for your kind comments in there. Yes, it's a real honor to get to talk to you. Looking forward to meeting you in person at uh, CAC in a few days. All I, right, uh, that's all. I'm uh, definitely interested. I would like to hear at least one quick memory of, uh, I wrote an article for the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame for two, in 2004, namely uh, ah. Gordon Soley. Yes. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm not the only one that says it. You know that, too, is that this is one of a kind. He was just something else. Gordy had a – he and I He and I. a lot of times looked like we were going out of the same pair of eyes at, at what we would get up there and start doing. And the way it had it, we kind of – we just kind of really and truly working with WCW, we did the radio version of wrestling a lot. Uh, Gordon and I were, were on the road together doing that, and I was so thrilled because I never thought that I'd get a chance to do that. But it was it, it, it was an opportunity when we did that, and we didn't have any cameras that were, were talking about uh, uh, confining you sometimes in your working uh, surroundings and being confined by whatever is around well, this has happened plenty of times. A lot of guys, when it comes to broadcasting, and they they let uh, whatever the camera has got on there may not necessarily be the thing that is most interesting to be uh, talking about, and and so you could do it with ease in and the conditions that Gordon and I were working in there. We just kind of. Uh, <laughs> called our own boundaries and and got to do it and it just I was I was just so so pleased to be with Gordy and and uh well I'm so pleased to be with you guys here but uh, normally I sit and talk all night. Oh, we still got a few hours to go. 